not to run them sheep on my land. My land, Garrett. It came mine when we signed that lease. You're right, Mr. Garrett. I'm paying you off when we get back, and I'm breaking that goddamn lease. I don't allow the law to agree to that. What law is that? Santa Fe Ring Law? Shit. Goddamn law is ruining the country. Whoa! Ain't you still a part of that law? There's nothing wrong with that harness. I believe they elected you and paid you good wages for killing the kid. You rotten son of a bitch. Hello, Black. No, we always live like this. You ought to visit us more often. Huh? Well, I reckon the whole damn territory is going to be one big open jug for us now. Is that right, Pat? Ain't that right, Pat? Take a two-day ride from Lincoln just to pay me back the two dollars you owe me, Pat? Gonna collect it now, Black. We ain't gonna be seeing much of Pat these days. See, I understand those Mexican uh, senioritas are still pretty as ever down there. Yeah? I know one's waiting on your hoss with a knife. Man, them sisters? No, which ones were they? That one you got up and asked how much you owed her. And she said, whatever you think it's worth. You threw a dime on a pillar. The girl said, if that's all it's worth, I might as well sew it up. <laughs> Son of a bitch, come on, I'll buy you three. You don't figure he's too good to drink with us, do you? Maybe it's the other way around. He says, don't you get stale around here, Bill? Maybe a year or so down in Mexico will do some good. I didn't figure you'd bother to make a ride out here. Shit, you know me better than that. You heard about even. He drowned in Rio Grande. Trying to get back to that old mix you're talking about. He took two of the posse with him. I'm sorry to hear that. I always liked old Levin. <sighs> At least he knew when it was the right time to leave. We did have some ties, didn't we? <laughs> it's got to be pretty hard to turn your back on all that. You want it straight? That's what you're here for? The electorate. Once you've gone, out of the country. Well, are they telling me? Are they asking me? I 
I'm asking you. But in five days, I'm making you. So when I take over Sheriff Lincoln County. Go, Pat. Sheriff Pat Garrett. Sold out to the Santa Fe Ray. How does it feel? It, uh... Feels like times have changed. Times, maybe. Not me. Hey, we can stick around. We got a few days left, ain't we? No, I gotta get back. Adios, Pat. Adios, Bill. Don't press your luck. I'm worried about my luck. Why don't you kill him? Why? He's my friend. They say that Pat Garrett has got your number. So I sleep with one eye open when you slumber. Go down So they've hired That girl To force you to slow down Well they don't let me feel so low down To be hunted by The man who was your friend Hang on to your woman Got one. Remember in El Paso once you shot one. She may have been a whore, but she was a hot one. Billy, you've been running for so long. Get on up, Billy. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't making no money watching you boys sleep. I like to waste the best part of the damn day. Come on, boy, let that squirrel loose. You like to shake it to death. I'm just scratching. Chisholm's cattle's waiting on us. Well, let them wait. I hate a son of a bitch gets up. Noisy and full of himself. I ain't in this for my health, hateful. It's awful. <laughs> Pat ain't gonna like this. What? Coming down hard on him. Day after he got his new badge. Hell. Ain't no way he's gonna know. I ain't afraid of Pat Garrett. Well, all right, a little bit. Bastard. <laughs> I best go get them horses watered.
has Garrett. God damn him, too. Now he's got Bell and Half Town Lincoln out there with him. Help me up. Oh, sweet Mary's ass. Don't let me go down. They kill me. Oh, gut shot for sure. Throw the fire! Hold your fire! Hold it! Bill! Come on out, you don't have a chance! What are you taking me in for? Which one was that? Buckshot Roberts. The kid in a Buckshot Roberts! Hell, that was a year ago. <laughs> I shot him straight up. Come on in, Pat. I'll warm your breakfast. <laughs> Guess he ate. They're closing down the store on us. Sure. Time you took a walk. Hell yeah. Why not? I can still hold a gun. We gotta move. I'm going fast. I'm going now. So by God, let's get on with it. Hey. I ain't afraid of him now. Hold your fire! We're coming out! Hold it! You go left, I'll go right. Might be the eight circles. Might be a dog would have caught the rabbit if he hadn't thought shit. Where are the goddamn horses? company, Pat. Yeah, I'm alive, though. So am I. Stand alive. 
doesn't matter what side you're on. You're always right. And I aim to live to be rich, old, and gray. It's a fine ambition, Pat. You keep thinking like that, and I'll keep thinking on how I'm going to spend your money. The only thing you've got to think about, Mr. Bunny, is when you stand before the highest court there is, may it sit in judgment on your rotten soul. You listen. Listen to me good. Just before that rope snaps, it's going to hit you like a bolt of lightning that what I've been telling you is the truth. Now, you'll learn to bleed before I'm finished with you. Three to you. What do you believe in, Bill? I do believe I'm going to have to see that bet and raise your flag. Really? Somewhere in the good book it says there's a time for everything. Time to love, time to hate, time to kill. But now it's time you got close to God, boy. I heard God's fast. I have to go up in front of myself before I bet on it. You will. Well, that puts me on my way to go out and collect a few more taxes. All your two days, boy. I count eight days till dawn, Billy. Best be on your knees and make an acquaintance of your lord and master. Pat, keep that mule's asshole away from me before I have to break him. Surely wished you'd try, son. I got my shotgun full of 16 thin dimes. Enough to spread you out like a crazy woman's quilt. Ah. Uh. Why don't you sing the song of Jesus while they're still away? Bob? Bob? Damn it. If you mess around with him one more time, I'll have to send your ass back to Texas. Don't. I think I like to keep him here a while. I guess I just ain't seeing him. Well, I'll tell you what. As long as I'm still breathing, let's just play it straight up. I ain't saw my son like you and the rest of the town boys, Bill. That's just Bob that smells like street shit over there. On your knees. Kiss my ass. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Sweet Jesus, I repent. Leave off, Bob, you've gone loco! We're going across the street and have a drink. First is hell. I want to tell you one last thing personal, kid. rope and a long drop. That last thump got my guts going. Need to go to the outhouse. on me once, coming back to Pachico. I had to cut the second bar in his mouth and bleed him. He died on me and ended up walking 40 miles. I never was much for walking. Well, I ain't never walked a mile since, I'll tell you. Fell in with a bunch of mescaleros. 
They was just off the reservation, and I was suspicion of them. But I had some biscuit on me. I'd give it to them, and they just rode off. That's a hell of a story, Bill. You know, I believe old Pat's lost his sand. He won't come on a man. You had not talk about him that way, Billy. You and him used to be pretty close. Ain't the same man. Signed himself over to Chisholm and every other goddamn landowner that's trying to put a fence around his country. Hell, that's what you've been doing, ain't it, Bill? Selling us out and getting fat. Ain't that easy, Billy. friend of Carlisle, wasn't you, Bill? You know I was. I don't mean to be contrary. Did I ever tell you how he died? Shot him three times in the back. Blew his goddamn head off. I don't want to kill you, Bill. Well, now, I sure hope you don't, Billy. Then just move toward me. Don't. Don't do it, please. You wouldn't shoot me in the back, Billy. How's Jesus look to you now, Bob? Bonnie's killed Bill. Yeah, he's killed me too. Keep change, Bob. Bring me an axe. Try me un acha. I want you to go over to that livery stable. Give me the best horse you got. Si, senor. Santa Fe, San Antonio, Tularosa. I've been in goddamn where? Fort Sumner, Espanola, San Pedro, and a band of White Oaks. Oh, ho, Milagro. Might have spent a night in Malamolos taking chances. 
But I never seen no town low down as Lincoln. And I've been to Texas, Arizona, Colorado, with your daughter, marijuana across the border. She was laughing like the devil when I caught her. But she was smiling when I left her. I think I'm just going to treat you that fine brown horse three bucks to you. What the hell, Billy? <laughs> I'll throw in about a dollar sixty worth of change if you can dig it out of old Bob there. Some of you people get him up off the ground and into it. Anything you say, Sheriff. <sighs> Hell of a mess, Pat. Shot Bell and Ollinger and rode on out. Yeah, do me up good this time, Giuseppe. Leave the mustache on it. Stampede like over to the courthouse, find John Newley and all the other boys that are standing around over there, and tell them to come over here and pay me a visit. Got that? 
Tommy Cortez. Yes, sir. Who are you? That's a good question. I believe you know of me. Bill Kermit. <sighs> One at four horses you're down Seven Rivers, ain't you? That'd be me, Sheriff. Killed old C.B. Denning last year at Silver City for calling you a cheat at Monty. That'd be me. Alamosa Bill. Well, Bill, I'm going to make you my deputy. Listen, so, Bill, why don't you go up back? Find us a couple of steaks and a mess of eggs. And get one of them good bottles you got behind the bar there, huh? I want to have me a bath. Take you about two weeks to make circle. They say William Bourne has escaped. He has. And he's in old Mexico, I hope. Well, we should be if I had any sense. Not. I'll go after him. Got too much riding on him not to. I figure that's why they elected me. Anyways, I don't give a damn. I can do it again. If I have to. You might say that you are glad to see me. It's been over a week you've been gone. I'm sorry. I gotta go down to the saloon. There's a drunk down there causing a lot of trouble. Goes by the name of Alamosa Bill. Said he rode with a kid down in West Texas. you be blessed in this house with your presents for dinner? Oh, it looks like it's gonna be a long night. It's been a long year. Not now. My people don't talk to me. They say you are getting to be too much of a gringo since you've been sheriff. But you make deals with Chisholm. You don't touch me. You are dead inside. I wish you'd never put on that badge. Not now! See you, Ara, or I won't be here when you get back. So we'll deal with this when it's over. Hope he gets away. Well, he won't. There's too much play in him. 
and not enough in you. You're late, Pat. Pat, well, more cognac, please. Good of you to come, Sheriff. Thank you, Governor. Pleasure to see you. Thank you, sir. May I offer you some supper? Oh, no, no, I think you might have a little of that uh, brandy, though. Of course, some brandy. I do hope you enjoy these rainy New Mexican evenings. They have a fabulous melancholy, too. They bring us closer to some greater design. At least I hope so. Uh, allow me to introduce Mr. Uh, Llewellyn Holland. And uh, this man is Norris. These uh, gentlemen are very concerned about the escape of William Bonney, a concern I'm sure you also share. Escape from my jail. Exactly. This territory is vast and primitive. There is money here, growing investments, and uh, political interests. We must protect these investments so that the area can continue to prosper and grow. I believe you rode with the kid, didn't you, Sheriff? I did. Then you must be aware of his moves. Well, I know Billy, and he ain't exactly predictable. Oh, come now, Sheriff. For a man who's half outlaw himself, still smart enough to be elected sheriff by Chisholm and the other big ranchers. I expect better than that. Now, can you bring him in, or should we look elsewhere? No, oh, I can bring him in. The big peckerhead still mess things up by starting another cattle war. I can assure you, Mr. Garrett, that Chisholm and the others have been advised to recognize their position. And in this particular game, there are only a few plays left. I'd advise you to grab onto a winning hand while you have a chance. We're offering a reward of $1,000 for the kid's capture. You can have 500 now. Well, I aim to bring the kid in. But until I do, better take your $500 and shove it up your ass and set fire to it.
Gino. Well, now. <laughs> I'm gonna blow the top of your cow hump and head off, you son of a bitch. How's it going, Lou? <laughs> you are a son of a bitch. <laughs> I thought he was getting ready to trim you, boy. There's a whole bunch of us just fixing to ride in. Well, I'll save y'all a trip. Or somebody did. I figured I'd lay back a few days. Maybe more. It's sure is pleasurable seeing you back again, kid. You glad I'm back? <laughs> Did you miss me? So much you had to take over that low town piece of old hide. Como está, Silva? Well, yes, Billy. And you, uglier than me. How's it going, Peter? You know, I thought you boys would be out in the Nueces or Colorado by now. Well, I figured to watch you get stretched, but might have known you'd show up. Good thing somebody did. These four rode in here this morning. What's your name, boy? Alias. Alias what? Alias anything you please. What do we call you? Alias. Hell, just call him Alias. That's what I'd do. Alias it is. Boys hungry? I didn't catch your name. Didn't give it out. Well, I guess that's why I didn't catch it. But I know yourn, and that's enough. Hey, Silva. You remember that meeting with John Jones and that old man they called U.S. Christmas down there, El Rito? The old man they called U.S. Christmas? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Seems John stepped on one of U.S.'s boots one night they was both in town. Oh, U.S. He been out hunting buffalo for six months. Now, he was mean and testy and damn near blind drunk. He had on a pair of these flat heels, about half length Wellington boots. Them boots was the only thing he owned he put any store in. And John stepped on one of them. That old man stood back and said, Let's get to it. So. John said to U.S., if you're going to get that riled over a pair of foreign lady-looking boots, we just might as well get the ball rolling. So we went out in the middle of the street, and they took the 10 steps. 
And John put three holes right through that old man's chest. <laughs> <laughs> I must have known him from somewhere. It's too soon for bounty hunters. Aliens. over there, Gate. Howdy, Cullen. How do you do yourself? What you doing with that piece of sheep dip? I'd like to blow his thieving head off just for riding through my town. Paid nobody no never mind. Been staying in my own good hole. Fact is, I think about going to Texas. Kid broke out. Killed Olinger and Bell. But maybe Gate and some of the boys might have a sign on him. That I still want him for that train robbery up at Springer. Gate's been holed up outside of town here with Black Harris and Sud Cole that much. Been meaning to. Roused him out of here, but somehow or other, I just can't get around to it. I don't know nothing about the boys. Don't know nothing about the kid. I understand you've been riding for Chisholm. I'd rather be on the outside of the law than packing a badge for that town of Lincoln and them that's running it. It's a job. It's an age in a man's life when you don't want to spend time figuring what comes next. Well, it's going to cost you some change. I got to the point where I don't do nothing for nobody unless there's a piece of gold attached to it. days and I get my boat built, I'm going to drift out of this damn territory. This town's got no hat size no how. Mama, where'd you put my badge? This town is not worth it. I'll tell you the truth, Mama. I don't take a shine to it myself.
company's coming. Get it? Chef Baker. Hey, Black Harris! I want to talk to you. Sign Black. Us old, old boys often be doing this to each other. <laughs> Ain't that many of us left. Remember? You and me rode into this county together. How long ago was that, Pat? Oh, hell, about 15 years ago. <laughs> I know where the kid's at. I'll tell you. When you're lying proper on the ground. It'll be the last word you ever hear. Thank you. 
Oh man, it wasn't for you. That's Mrs. Chisholm's cattle. This is Chisholm's land. Want some coffee? I could use some. Name is Poe. John W. Poe out of Fort Griffin, Texas. Maybe you saw me last month in Santa Fe at Governor Wallace's. Now, the governor made me a deputy. I think he probably told you. Already got me, Deputy. Two's better than one. I answer only to the governor, Mr. Norris, and Mr. Howland. I heard talk on the trail of kids in Mexico. It don't figure to me. Most likely, he's trying to get his old bunch together again. Which way are we going? I'm going south to west. Uh, that'd be the Chisholm Ranch. Chisholm is a fine man. The country's got to make a choice. Time's over for drifters, not laws. And the has got no backbone. I'm going to tell you this once. I 
I don't want to have to say it again. This country's getting old, and I'm to get old with it. Now, the kid don't want it that way. Might be a better man for it. I ain't judging. But I don't want you explaining nothing to me, and I don't want you saying nothing about the kid and nobody else in my goddamn county. Escalero stole 40 head of horses last week. Yeah, I heard they uh, was off the reservation. And Bonnie tried to steal a few head a couple of weeks ago. Well, he says you owe him $500 back salary. He rode for me. I treated him just like any other man. Sheriff, tell me something. Why did you ride all the way out here? We thought maybe you'd heard something. Yeah, I'll tell you what I heard. Billy the Kid is in Tuscosa. Billy the Kid is in Tombstone. Billy the Kid is in Mexico, Tularosa, Socorro, White Oaks. And Billy the Kid is at my table right at this moment, eating tacos and green chili peppers with my niece, just like old times. You staying for supper? No, thanks. Mr. Poe? Why, yeah, yes, I could eat. All right, bunkhouse is right behind the large barn. Men usually eat when the cook lets them. Interesting meeting you, Mr. Poe. Perhaps I'll see you again sometime. Let it be a service guide, but don't overuse it. I appreciate the loan. You gonna get him? Mexico, Billy. People know you're here. I say this is a dream. Hell no, Max. Ain't gonna be nothing but another drunken gringo shitting out chili peppers and waiting for nothing. It's got a good edge. Gracias, amigo. Gracias. Adios. There's a lot of land between here and the border. It's all chisels. They keep those sheep moving, or they're gonna end up on his table. <laughs> I have no quarrel with Chisholm. There's an old war that is over. Let him alone. And he will let you alone. Don't you believe him, my friend? I must believe it. Adios. Adios. Adios, Paco. Buena suerte. You could leave. You could live in Mexico. Could you? Yeah. I could live anywhere. I could leave anywhere, too. Have you ever been to California? Not yet. I ain't either. <laughs> They're sure pushing on me to go somewhere. Yeah, your leaving would sure give Garrett some size. 
I reckon he's giving me about all the time he can. Mexico might not be bad for a couple of months. Depends on who you are. I reckon. so bad for a few months. I guess that depends who you are. But if I was y'all, I'd be clearing out of here. Gonna be some hard times coming down. Remember me to whoever rides by. Got a little oil on it. That's the fairest drink of whiskey you ever sold a lip over, boy. Go your own spots. I never rode through here before. Don't seem the best way to be tracking a man down. They're already talking about you and Lincoln. I calculate you ain't been there in more than seven weeks. Well, when I want somebody to keep time for me, I'll ask you. Stay here the night. You take that trail east and south. I'll pick you up in Roswell five days, six at the most. I might be able to find something out there alone. Tired, Garrett? Looks like you only got a couple more days left in you. full of tequila. And you know something, you can't beat that, can you? Thank you. 
Morning, ma'am. Mr. Hall. think we'd be getting to see you. I felt obliged to come pay my respects before moving on. Sit down, Bill. Picked a fine time to come, Billy. I should have figured on you for taking on the badge. Didn't figure on it myself. Just in town being sociable. Rode in from Seven Rivers to watch you hang. Garrett swore me in when you lit out. Won't be having no ill talk at my table. Go to yourself, Billy. Another fried pie? Oh. Don't mind if I do. Never taste anything so good. Thank you, ma'am. Billy? Tomato. I <clears throat> don't suppose you ran into old Pat, did you, Billy? Can't say I did. He'll track you down, Billy, and get you. Pat Garrett's got more sand than most. Yeah, I'm outlawed for sure. Oh, Alamos air, I'll see you that. It wasn't long ago. I was a law, right for Chisholm. But old Pat was an outlaw. The law is a funny thing, ain't it? through putting up that new cottonwood door. Used the old one for my son, John. Got into a shooting with Olin Carroll. He'd buried out yonder there. I'm sorry to hear that, Mr. Orr. John was a good hand. Couldn't shoot, though. Uh, well, let's get to it. Ten steps? Suits me. You count them. You ain't thought of another way, have you? Can't come up with nothing. Get to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs>
Howdy, old timer. West is best part of your day. Oh. Hello, Holly. Bit off your grease, ain't you? No bit. Hell, everybody knows he's looking for the kid. Everybody he knows the kid ain't nowhere in this territory. Nobody's seen him. Maybe be outside there wishing he'd come in and get himself a drink. Get himself a drink? Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I have mine. Don't need to run off, Holly. out there, Pat. You boys better shut them gun belts. Just let them lay where they fall. Board carrying wages? What kind of wages you mean? Yeah, well, any kind of wages. Thought maybe we'd just have a few sociable hands. Boy, go over there to Lemuel. Get that shotgun he's got his fingers wrapped around. And bring it over to me, stock first. Do it. There ain't no use you getting mad on Pat. I was set on using that. But those boys have been patronizing me real well. No use getting a mad, old Pat. We've been patronizing him real well. I want you to stand over behind the breed here. Now, I want you to take the stock of that gun and wrap him smartly on the back of the head. Now, you do it, boy, or this bullet that's gone through his chest lab will come out the other side and tickle your private parts. Private parts? Lemuel? Yeah. Would you drag your fat ass over here so we can all see you? You crazy and a mule hopping goat. Sitting there with all that love crammed inside, he just busting to get out. I wouldn't give a sweet jerk in hell if the kid did lay you out. You used to be just like a daddy to that boy. Boy. Come over here. Why don't you take Lemuel's head and stuff it down over his eyes, gentle-like. His eyes ain't seen nothing but the bad news side of things since he's been in this territory. And I'm looking right smack dab at it. Huh? <clears throat> now I want you to go over there to that shelf of air tights and give us a nice read. Not enough for us all to hear. Let's hear it. Uh, beans. Beans, spinach, eastern plums. Beans, beef stew. Salmon. Who's better game anyway, isn't it, Holly? Yes. Listen, Pat. We haven't done nothing. All we did was come in and let ourselves Ten down. Milk. Spinach. Take it right from the bottle, Holly. Beef stew. Don't no need to stand on manners around here. 
No, no, no. Go have have another one. Climax tobacco. Hmm. Just keep on going there. Eh? Ain't a fine quality tomatoes. He's trying to drown him, boy. That's what he's doing. Trying to get his bark back on him. Think it's gonna make him young again, like the kid. A and K, salmon, mm. beans, spinach and beans, baked beans, beans. Boy, this, beans. this sure lights up and kill you. Baked beans, beans. Quality. Quality. Quality company. Deep stew. Tell me, Pat. Are you, you afraid to take it to a kid or what? Ever since you and the kid have been together, you've just been a little... I'll show us supplies, you know what I mean? <laughs> Lima beans. Oh, uh, hell. <laughs> I, I, I don't care about either one of these. Lard. Quality, uh, quality, uh, salmon. Beans, tomatoes. You just made me have a bow, my precious Garrett. I ain't gonna never forgive you for this. Succotash, beets, spinach. Boy, you see, Billy. John, we had a little drink together. Ready. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You working for Chisholm? Yeah, we're working for him. myself. You know, Billy, I, I put a vine, a grapevine around the veranda, and I will have three chairs, and I will sit in the middle one. And anyone who doesn't do right according to nature, and my mother, I will blow his head off. Billy, siento mucho perillo.
Look who's here. Hey, look who's here. <laughs> I was hoping that was you as soon as I seen your dust. I was hoping that was you. <laughs> I ain't shut of this country yet. I shouldn't know better. Beaver? Goddamn glad to see you, buddy. Boy, looking a little grim. You need somebody back here to spray your flanks, don't you? You just give us the word. There's enough of us left. Nobody's running us off. Not Garrett. Chisholm. Or that goddamn governor. Chisholm killed Paco. you have hosting for it nowadays. Uh, uh, we uh, just got some sort of a, an octoroon from South Texas, and uh, that's Ruthie Lee and uh, Pauline. Well, I'll be up in Ruthie Lee's room. She won't be wanting to see you. She's been with the kid more than a few times, you know. Well, I'll send her up anyway. You want another one? I don't care who you send up, Rupert. Just make sure that Ruthie Lee's part of the package. Come in. Which way do you want to go? I don't know yet. Gotta ask a few questions first. He was here a few weeks ago. I don't know where he went. You gotta do better than that, Ruthie. You're going to have to do me one more time, because I owe the kid that much. Yeah, <sighs> Fort Sumner.
room's Garrett in? End of the hall. Garrett? Come on in, door's not locked. Well, where's he at? Fort Sumner. Yeah, well, I don't want to hear about that. If you don't get him, I'm going to. Go down to the sheriff's office and find Kip McKinney. Tell him to meet me downstairs. Don't say nothing about nothing. Jail empty? I recollect that it is. Who's the deputy? Sack Oliver. Oh, I got the girls upstairs. Locked up. Take the girls over to see old Sack Oliver. Uh, give him the key. Mr. McKinney's horse back. Will you pull? Where are we going, anyway? Fort Sumner. There's nothing out there but some old cattle thieves. There's a couple of young ones there, too. No, I ain't going. You owe it to me. I do. About what? For not killing you. Water for getting you this job and not seeing you run out of this territory for pulling you out of that snowdrift up to Chamis. And for cold cocking you over at Stillwater Saloon last fall and saving you from Rabbit Owens biting off your ear and from just putting up with you for a hell of a lot longer than I oughta. Well, I, I hope they spell my name right in the papers. Coming in, Billy. Yeah. I reckon. May wants to have a drink with me.
Just as soon ride in and get it over with. He ain't gonna be there anyway. Hell, I don't have nothing against the kid. Save him, maybe he killed J.W. Bill. Yep. Sure did like J.W. We'll meet up on the other side of the fort at old Pete Maxwell's place. I know, old Pete. to bed down your extra bunk. No reason not to. I got no need for it. Been on any drives? No. Recollect the time Dottie Sparks got his horse stolen. Jay Summers stole it. Just dumped and stole it. <laughs> Was up by Del Rio. Old Toddy got even, though. <laughs> he sure did. Put a rattler in Jay's blanket. Bit him through the neck. Buried him in a thunderstorm. Summer of 71, it was. What are you, some kind of frog watcher or something? Take it easy, I got the wrong room. You got damn right you got the wrong room. Who in the hell are you looking for? Somebody else. What's somebody else? <coughs>
a will. Oh, Sheriff. We finally figured it out, huh? Go on, get it over with. I'm hungry. I'll get you something. No, I'll see what Pete's got out in the cooler. Hello, Pete. Easy, Dad. Easy. You come to see Pete Maxwell. Hey, Pete, who's that out there?
that trigger finger. I want it cut off, I want it nailed to a post, and then I want him taken back to Lincoln. No! <laughs> <laughs> Guns across the river about to pound you. There's a lawman on your trail, like to surround you. Bounty hunters are dancing all around you. Really, they don't like you to be so free. Streets down by the hacienda Up to Boot Hill they'd like to send you Billy, don't you turn your back on me There's mirrors inside the minds of crazy faces There's always one more notch and four more aces Billy and you're playing all alone Playing around with some sweet senorita Into her dark chamber she will greet you in the shadows of the mesa, she will lead you. Billy and you're going all alone. They say that Pat Garrett's got your number. So I sleep with one eye open when you wonder if every little sound just might be thunder Thunder from the barrel of his gun There's always another stranger Sneaking glances Some trigger-happy fool Willing to take chances Some old whore from South Pedro To make it fancy Advances on your spirit and your soul The businessmen from Taos want you to go down So them hired Mr. Garrett to force you to slow down So far away from home.